I want to talk about the first time in my life I ever felt excluded due to my sexual orientation. I'm a solo sexual slash solo romantic. I feel love toward myself. And um, I actually didn't notice it until I was 23, but now looking back in retrospect, I've been solo sexual for most of my life, as far back as my memory will go at least. So I was in 8th grade, and um, I had uh, dug out my dad's um, chemistry books from when he was in college and taught myself a great deal of chemistry actually. This was back in the days of dial-up internet where you could still find more information online. It was slow, there wasn't a whole lot of it. There wasn't a whole lot of um, amateur content, right? You didn't, you didn't do a chemistry experiment at home and shared it with a million people like you do nowadays, right? But there was a lot of professional content, at least. And um, one day, um, I had um, concentrated a bottle of hydrogen peroxide. I think I had a brown bottle of 3% hydrogen peroxide, and I distilled it to make 50-plus percent hydrogen peroxide. And uh, that stuff is... Uh, amazingly dangerous actually you can get it on your hands it will bleach your skin and um, I used to love to put 3% peroxide in my ear to clean out my earwax and one time I decided to put the 50% in the ear and I couldn't hear out of that ear for five minutes now not long after doing that experiment um, I was uh, waiting at the school bus stop and I missed the bus one morning my, uh, my mom was very upset and the reason I had missed the bus was because the kids I was waiting with, right, I had a, uh, a few classmates who were around my same age. Uh, I think one of them might, might have been a year younger. The other one was the same year as me. And uh, they, they started talking about some kind of date, right? Uh, they, 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 they had already started messing around. I didn't want to hear it because they didn't want to listen to me talk about my chemistry experiment expeditions and so I decided to walk away because I, I didn't feel our, uh, our, our conversation was two-sided. They, they just wanted to talk about uh, who kissed who and when I talked about how I almost blew up the house or uh, why my, my skin is all rashed from t touching the hydrogen peroxide, I didn't want to hear about that and I got upset. And I decided to hide behind a tree until they finished their story so I could come back to the chemistry stories. And by the time I came back from behind the tree, uh, my classmates were gone. And I went in, back into the house to tell my mom that I had missed the bus. And at first, she, she wasn't all that upset. She thought I got distracted with something. And then later on, I told her about how the, the, the kids were talking about going on a date and they didn't want to hear about my chemistry. My mom got even more upset. And she said that, I, enough of the chemistry, you know, I need to ha have a life. And now I'm even more upset because it's bad enough that my friends are ignoring me. And my mom is upset that I'm teaching myself chemistry. Uh, it just really upset me. And uh, I, I didn't realize it, though. H had I mentioned that I was uh, happily feeling romance toward myself and feeling like I was uh, going on a date when I was doing those chemistry experiments, because that's how I felt. I didn't know it. You gotta remember, this was late 90s, early 2000s, before a lot of discussion about LGBTQ. I didn't know that was what love felt like. And I'm now looking back, uh, I, uh, uh, I want more people who are at that age, right, if they're doing that, to understand what they're involved in and to speak up for themselves, right?